This is Troy Hawk and this video will show you how to create a image slider using Easy Rotator. First you will have to download the program and you can find the information on downloading and installing the program at the uh, below on the uh, YouTube instructions. So uh, when you want to uh, download the program just look at the uh, instructions that are posted uh, below uh, the YouTube uh, video. Once you have the program downloaded and installed, you open up the program and you'll see a menu something like what you see here. Initializing wizard, uh, you can create a standalone or uh, using other programs such as uh, Dreamweaver, you can uh, actually use it inside of Dreamweaver. But we're going to use standalone today. To get started, you must have created an existing HTML file. So basically what you can do is you can create an uh, HTML file and save it in a folder that you're going to use specifically for uh, creating this image slider or image rotator. For example, you only need to create HTML code with the basic uh, structure for a web page and without putting anything into the body tags. Once you have created the folder and placed the HTML file inside of the folder that you plan to use for uh, creating the uh, image slider, you can select that page by going through the option here of HTML page that you're going to use. Click on the browse and then find the page that you want to uh, use. I place mine on the desktop so you know, I can go and search for it here. I created a file called rotator, a folder called rotator slider tutorial and inside of there is where I placed the HTML file that you just saw uh, and I've called that image rotator slider tutorial and I've also placed another folder inside with the images that I'm going to inside of uh, the uh, rotator slider tutorial uh, that has the images that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So I select the HTML file and also I need to select the folder that contains the HTML file, HTML file for the site root folder. So we click on browse, select the folder and click OK. And then we're ready to start. Click continue and then you have options to either insert a new rotator or use an existing rotator. So I'm going to select a new, insert a new one. You give the rotator a name. In my case I, I'm calling my image slider rotator for this tutorial. And then you go on to select a width and a height. Um, you want to select a width and a height that are very close to what the size of your images are. So the, the images that I created is um, the size that we see selected here, 657 by uh, 250. So whatever the size of your images are, you want to select or change this accordingly. And uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that all of your images should be the same size in order for your image slider to look well or to look right uh, when it's being displayed. And the better, the, the more you uh, make your images the size of your, the size of the rotator itself, then you have a better view when the images are inside of the slider. Then we want to click continue. And we come to this place where now we can start to select the photos or the images that we want to use for uh, your slider.